Here are the 30 most commonly asked interview questions for a cloud security engineer role, along with detailed answers. 1. What is the shared responsibility model in cloud security, and how does it work? Answer. The shared responsibility model outlines the security responsibilities between the cloud service provider CSP and the customer. The CSP is responsible for the security of the cloud infrastructure, while the customer is accountable for securing their data, applications, and access controls within the cloud environment. 2. Explain the concept of least privilege in cloud security. Answer. Least privilege is the principle of providing users and systems with the minimum level of access necessary for their tasks. In cloud security, this minimizes the potential impact of a security incident by restricting unnecessary permissions and access. 3. How does EM contribute to cloud security, and what are its key components? Answer, EM controls and manages access to cloud resources. Key components include users, groups, roles, and policies. It ensures that only authorized entities have the necessary permissions to interact with cloud resources. 4. What is multi-factor authentication MFA, and why is it essential for cloud security? Answer. MFA adds an extra layer of security by requiring users to provide multiple forms of identification before gaining access. This reduces the risk of unauthorized access, even if credentials are compromised. 5. How does encryption contribute to data security in the cloud? Answer. Encryption transforms data into a secure format, ensuring confidentiality. In the cloud, data at rest, in transit, and during processing should be encrypted to protect against unauthorized access. 6. Explain the difference between symmetric and asymmetric encryption. Answer. Symmetric encryption uses a single key for both encryption and decryption, while asymmetric encryption involves a pair of public and private keys. Symmetric is faster but requires secure key exchange, while asymmetric is more secure but slower. 7. What are security groups in NACLs in AWS, and how do they differ? Answer. Security groups and network access control lists NACLs are AWS components for controlling inbound and outbound traffic. Security groups operate at the instance level, while NACLs operate at the subnet level. 8. How do virtual private clouds VPCs enhance network security in a cloud environment? Answer. VPCs provide a logically isolated section of the cloud where you can launch resources. By configuring subnets, root tables, and network access controls within a VPC, you can create a secure and controlled network environment. 9. What is a bastion host, and how does it enhance security in a cloud infrastructure? Answer. A bastion host is a dedicated instance in a VPC that is explicitly hardened and secure. It serves as a gateway for accessing and managing other instances in a private network adding an extra layer of security by reducing the attack surface. 10. How can you secure data at rest in a cloud environment, and why is it crucial? Answer. Securing data at rest involves encrypting data stored in databases, file systems, or other storage mediums. This safeguards sensitive information, preventing unauthorized access even if physical storage devices are compromised. 11. Explain the importance of data masking in cloud security. Answer. Data masking involves replacing, encrypting, or scrambling sensitive information in non-production environments. It ensures that developers and testers can work with realistic data without exposing sensitive details, thus reducing the risk of data breaches. 12. What are container security best practices, and how do they differ from traditional VM security? Answer. Container security best practices include image vulnerability scanning, runtime protection, and secure orchestration. Unlike VMs, containers share the host OS kernel, requiring additional security measures to isolate and protect individual containerized applications. 13. 
how can you ensure the security of serverless computing environments? Answer, in serverless computing, security responsibilities are shifted to the cloud provider. However, you must still manage code dependencies, implement proper authentication and authorization, and monitor functions for potential vulnerabilities or anomalies. 14. Explain the importance of a well-defined incident response plan in cloud security. Answer. An incident response plan outlines procedures to follow when a security incident occurs. In the cloud, it ensures a swift and coordinated response to minimize damage, identify the root cause, and implement corrective measures. 15. What tools and techniques can be used for continuous monitoring in a cloud environment? Answer. Continuous monitoring tools, such as AWS CloudWatch or Azure Monitor, track and analyze system performance and security. Techniques include log analysis, intrusion detection systems, and automated alerting to identify and respond to potential threats promptly. 16. How do you ensure compliance with industry-specific regulations in a cloud environment? Answer. Compliance in the cloud involves understanding and adhering to relevant regulations, implementing security controls, conducting regular audits, and maintaining detailed documentation to demonstrate adherence. 17. What is the significance of a Cloud Security Posture Management CSPM tool? Answer. CSPM tools assess and enforce security configurations in cloud environments ensuring compliance with security best practices and policies. They help prevent misconfigurations that could lead to security vulnerabilities. 18. How can artificial intelligence AI and machine learning ML enhance cloud security? Answer. AI and ML can analyze vast amounts of data to detect patterns and anomalies, aiding in threat detection, fraud prevention, and automated incident response in real time. 19. Explain the role of blockchain in cloud security. Answer. Blockchain can enhance cloud security by providing a decentralized and tamper-resistant ledger for transactional data, ensuring transparency and integrity. 20. What is the importance of penetration testing in cloud security, and how does it differ from vulnerability scanning? Answer. Penetration testing involves simulating real-world attacks to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. It goes beyond vulnerability scanning by providing a comprehensive assessment of the effectiveness of security controls and incident response procedures. 21. How do you perform a security assessment for cloud applications? Answer. Security assessments involve reviewing architecture, identifying potential vulnerabilities, and evaluating access controls. Automated tools, code reviews, and manual testing contribute to a thorough assessment. 22. How do you educate and train teams on cloud security best practices? Answer. Training programs, workshops, and regular communication are essential. Providing real-world examples and case studies can help teams understand the practical implications of security best practices. 23. Explain the importance of collaboration between security teams and development teams in a DevSecOps culture. Answer. DevSecOps integrates security into the DevOps process, fostering collaboration between development, operations, and security teams. This ensures that security is considered throughout the development lifecycle. 24. What are the current trends in cloud security, and how do they impact your approach as a cloud security engineer? Answer. Trends may include zero trust, secure access service edge says, and the integration of security into CI or CD pipelines. Adapting to these trends involves staying informed, continuous learning, and adjusting security strategies accordingly. 25. How can you ensure resilience against DDoS attacks in a cloud environment? Answer. Implementing DDoS mitigation strategies, such as using content delivery network CDNs, scaling resources dynamically, and leveraging DDoS protection services, helps ensure resilience against large-scale attacks. 
26. How do you communicate security risks and strategies to non-technical stakeholders? Answer. Effective communication involves translating technical jargon into understandable language, providing real-world examples, and emphasizing the business impact of security measures. 27. How do you stay updated on the latest developments and threats in cloud security? Answer. Staying updated involves attending conferences, webinars, participating in forums, and continuous self-learning. Subscribing to security alerts and following reputable security blogs also contributes to staying informed. 28. Describe a challenging security issue you encountered in a cloud environment and how you resolved it. Answer. Discuss a specific incident, detailing the steps taken to identify, analyze, and mitigate the issue. Emphasize the importance of continuous improvement and lessons learned. 29. How do you prioritize security tasks in a dynamic and fast-paced cloud environment? Answer. Prioritization involves assessing risks, considering potential impacts, and addressing the most critical vulnerabilities first. It requires collaboration with stakeholders to align security efforts with business goals. 30. How do you see the future of cloud security evolving, and what skills do you think will be crucial for cloud security engineers in the coming years? Answer. The future involves increased automation, aggression of AI ML, and a continued focus on DevSecOps. Crucial skills include automation or scripting, cloud-specific certifications, and a deep understanding of emerging technologies. These questions and answers cover a range of topics relevant to a cloud security engineer role. Assessing technical knowledge, problem, solving abilities, communication skills, and awareness of industry trends. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.